Hi, my name is Victor. I am a sophomore living in Davenport College, and I'm a statistics and data science major, and I'm here to present my final project for CS50. Awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you, Victor. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you built here and what do you have to show us? Yeah, so I basically built a website that works with Spotify API. So because I'm a data science major, I'm interested in statistics. So right, basically right. how it works is you click here, you paste the playlist link, and you click analyze. It takes some time to load, so I've already like loaded in like this particular playlist. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, so after you click to the you, after you go to analyze, it'll take you to the navigation page where you can um, navigate between different pages of the website. So if you click raw data, it'll show you like the raw data behind each song. And if you click decades, for example, it'll show you like the percentage of songs released in each decade. And if you hover over it, um, it tells you more information. So like 47.5% of the songs were released in the 2010s. Gotcha. Um, and then there's a lot of other features. Like for example, here's song lengths. Like 32% of the songs have a song length between three and four. Right, right. And also Spotify provides a lot of different data on right. like things like valence. So valence in particular is basically a measure of how positive or happy the song is. And it looks like most of the songs in this playlist are on the sadder side um, because one is like perfect happiness, perfect valence. Right, um, right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, uh, this seems like a really complex project, like taking all of that data and then processing it and then displaying it in like this visually pleasing way. Can you tell me a little bit more about how did you implement this and like what were some of the difficult parts of that? Yeah, so I would say the hardest part was working with the Spotify API. Right. So all this data is data that Spotify provides, and in order to like communicate with the Spotify server, you have to like register your website and stuff like that. So it took me a while to figure that out, but once I figured that out, um, I was able to like write code that went through and like got this data from the Spotify API. And graphing it wasn't like relatively difficult. Um, I coded all of this in like Python, Flask, and like HTML. So um, with with Python, I used the Pandas database to create each of these graphs and like pass them through to the HTML. Gotcha. Nice job. And I guess on the flip side of things, what part of your project are you most proud of? Um, I think just the way that it turned out, um, like. I think it's really interesting, like being able to go from like a playlist of songs to like data behind the songs. No, like, definitely. I thought that yeah. was really cool. Like, I don't think that that's something that you know you'd be able to like really see otherwise without using a song like this because the Spotify API data isn't like visible like within the Spotify app. Right. You have to use like something like this to see it. Right, because I was gonna say I never knew Spotify had any of this data, right? Like I thought it was just you know the songs, the length, and you know maybe they give me that rap playlist at the end yeah. of the year, right? So yeah. I guess like moving forwards, do you have any ideas of what you might do with this in the future? Because this seems like a pretty cool project to me. Yeah, I mean going forward, I might try to um, maybe like publicly host this somewhere. Uh, try to see if I can get it up and running. There are already like websites similar to this that already exist. Like at the bottom of my uh, page, like I say, it was inspired by this website, which does a similar thing. So. Um, maybe I'll try to publicly host it, share it with like some of my friends, get them to uh, get them to use the app. Hopefully, yeah, that sounds cool. I mean, this is a great project. Thanks so much again for showing us, yeah. and uh, you know, keep up the great work. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And uh, this is CS50.